Some dinosaurs were huge, which means they would have produced vast quantities of waste. But just how big were dino poos? Firstly, we need some good hard evidence. Although it may sound like a kind of beer, coprolite is in fact the scientific name for fossilized feces. Made from the Greek word for dung and the Greek word for stone, coprolite roughly translates as dung stone. Unfortunately, due to weather, beetles and bacterial decomposition, good coprolites are hard to find. However, at Sketchosaurus, we don't like to disappoint you, so here are our top three petrified poops. At three, a coprolite from Wyoming. A 75 million year old stool, the size and shape of a basketball, was produced by Myasaura, a nine meter long, three ton herbivorous dinosaur. Number two comes all the way from Saskatchewan. A monster poo measuring 17 inches long and made up of between 30 to 50 percent bone fragments came from everybody's favorite predator, T-Rex. But at number one, king of the poops from Alberta. At a staggering 25 inches long and nearly 7 inches wide, <gasps> the biggest brick in our coprolite chart was laid about 75 million years ago by Dasplotosaurus or Gorgosaurus, both predecessors of T-Rex. But before we award any medals, could these dinosaurs really have dropped an anchor bigger than the biggest sauropod of all time? Until we find some Argentinosaurus dung, we'll never know for sure. But if we took a bird, the closest living relative of the dinosaurs alive today, and measured its poo in relation to its body size, and did some complicated math, we'd end up with an estimated turd volume of 15 liters. More than twice that of the copper light at the top of our chart. Hey, if you have any family-friendly euphemisms for dinosaur dung, let us know in the comments below.